All right, welcome back to part two of the paper clay dog. Snoop Dog is what I've named this dog. It's after one of my dogs. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of Snoopy. And he's actually in here right now, but um, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he'll come over here. Come here, Snoop. Come here. Come here. Let me see if I can find him. Snoop, there he is. There's my Snoop. Oh, that's Bitly. <laughs> Snoopy, come over here. Come here, Snoopy. Come here. Oh my goodness. We're just trying to look. Look. Oh, oh there's the Snoopy. There's my Snoop baby. Okay. So now you got to look at Snoopy. Anyway, now all the dogs are riled up. Let me get this set back up. Okay. Y'all go on. Out, 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 out. Go on. All right. So now, anyway, back to, let's make sure I'm still filming. Okay. So back to part two of this uh, session on um, creating a paper clay dog. And so what we're going to do now, I let it dry for, actually it's been drying for a couple of days now. It's been a couple of days. Um, the next day after I got it done, I expected it to be dry and hard, but you know, I had it setting up like this to dry and this bottom part didn't get dry. So what I did yesterday was I just kind of turned it on its side like that so the other parts could dry. So everything is nice and dry now. And I went ahead and sanded it just very, just a little bit in some rough areas with some fine sandpaper. Um, and there's still some little rough areas, but that's okay. It still looks, still he looks like he's ready for painting and giving him some character. So what I do is I use acrylic paint. And for him, he's pretty simple. I'm just doing black and white. So that's the only two colors that I needed for this particular um, puppy. So I just went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up this Craft Smart brand of black acrylic paint. Acrylic seems to work really good. And then I got uh, this Folk Art brand of white. It's called wicker white, soft wicker white. So those are my two paints that I have for this particular project. I'll put those back over here. And I bought this little um, thing to put the paint in just to keep it neat and tidy. I have a bigger brush for the overall surface of the puppy, which is going to be white to start out with. And then I got these fine brushes that are very tiny. Um, and fine for the lines like around his eyes and the different little places like his ears and his tail. And then I have this Sharpie pen because I like to start off by drawing in um, the areas that I'm going to color in. And so these are some of the markings kind of like what my Snoop Dogg has. And so I just kind of draw them in um, with a Sharpie pen. And that way I'm kind of already aware of where I'm going to be putting the black paint. So I just kind of, it doesn't matter because the paint is going to go over this. So I just draw on um, where I'm going to put the black paint. So we're going to do his ear, just like this one. And then we're going to do around his eye. And if you'll notice, it kind of comes off of his ear, this black spot. So I'm going to... I'm going to just kind of draw a line like this, just to keep me kind of on the right track. I'm going to draw, we don't really have to do his nose because that one's easy. We know that one. And then um, he's got some spots on his eyes, but I'll do that when I paint. His ear is black on the top, on this side. Okay, and then he's got some spots on his body that look like they're underneath the white hair and they kind of look like, my daughter calls him a blueberry muffin. So on him, it's like not very prominent, these little spots. So 
Um, I'll show you how I do that in a minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the area on his tail where I'm going to kind of draw a funny, I always think it looks like literally on, on Snoopy, on his backside, he looks like a, it looks like an elephant in his nose right here. So I'm going to try to draw that same kind of marking. It almost looks like a heart. And then it goes down to a certain place on his tail with the black marking. So I just kind of drew that so I would kind of keep myself in the right area. Now this is gonna show through the white paint, so um, don't worry about that. 